Hey guys, Coach Sean Bose here in Bondi Beach, Sydney, Australia. You might see behind me there the tent set up for the City to Surf post race celebrations. The City to Surf is, as we know, the largest competitor event in the world and by a long way. I think about 80,000 people enter and over 70,000 people finish the race, which is a huge event and a lot bigger than anything else around the world. We're training for that, it's just in about 10 days time, so I wanted to talk about something that came up in training today. Over the last few weeks, I've been doing high intensity interval training with people as a complimentary session to their otherwise easy, steady runs, just to give them that little bit of fitness and a little bit of variety to their training sessions. So last week, I did a four times one kilometer set and we went out a little bit too hard and that's the premise for the video I've got today. I wanna to show you the importance of starting your in interval sessions below your lactic threshold. And if you take a look at my cake tin lid whiteboard, you'll see my intensity and time graph. And let's say your lactic threshold is something like that red line there. So we'll call that LT. Last week we did four times one kilometer efforts, which is a decent kind of a workout. But what happened was the client I was running with went a little bit too fast in the first effort, or first two efforts, and blew up basically. So the lactic threshold is where your muscles begin to create lactic acid, which is damn painful and hard to get rid of. So you need about a day's rest before you can do anything worthwhile again if you go that you know over that threshold. So let me just graph this to show you the representation. Let's say that's his threshold. He did four efforts and the first one was kind of up there and we knew it was fast. So we slowed down the second one, which was kind of there, still too fast. But what happens here is if you do these first two like this, the damage is already done it, and you're not gonna wanna slow down too much for the back end of your session. So he went down here in number three, a little bit lower, and then down there in number four for a very painful and agonizing finish. And what is important to remember is if you go too hard in this first half of the set, you can rely on heart and guts, fortitude, will, and all the rest of it, but it's only probably gonna get you that far. Had this session continued on, he would have tailed right off or maybe even had to stop. What we did this morning, one week later, is we controlled our threshold. So we decided to repeat the same set we did last week. Instead this week we did five efforts of one kilometer. And I'll just show you a representation of how that session unfolded. So if we look back at my newly presented fresh graph on the cake tin lid whiteboard, you'll still see your intensity and time. However, this week we started off something like this. Very light in the first one. The second one, just a touch quicker. The third one, probably touching on lactic threshold just there. And it's important to note, one of the things I always say is, Keep it under control in the first 60% of your set, whatever that is. And he's doing five efforts here, so 60% would be the first three. Um, think about 10 times 400 meters. The first six, I always say just get to six, have a little bit in the bank, and then spread the wings after that. So in this 1K scenario, he's ready to spread the wings right here. And I said to him, don't worry about the last effort. You'll always be able to get the last effort done because you've controlled the first half of the set. So in number four, we really went for it. And we went up above lactic threshold. And we're starting to get pretty tired because we've obviously worked all this way through and then we're going pretty hard here. But we've got that last one and we know it's the last one. So we're gonna do a massive effort. And what Dave was able to do was go even higher again. So, if you're gonna go above lactic threshold, you need to keep in mind that you've probably only got, you know, these last two efforts or the last 40% of your workout 
in which to kind of push above that threshold before the wheels start falling off. So you really want to stay in control in this first 60%, speed it up, and then when the finish line's in sight, you can go for it. But don't go for it back here and blow yourself up when the finish line is all the way down here. It's going to be painful and agonizing and brutal, whereas if you keep it controlled, it's going to be productive, efficient, fresh, and you're going to feel great. However, I will say this about the days when you go too hard. These days are perfect. And last week, I let Dave run off you know, a bit too fast early, and I did it on purpose because I wanted him to feel the agony because it doesn't matter how many times a coach tells you, oh, yeah, yeah come on, be careful. You've got to really experience it for yourself and know what the agony feels like. And I mean, I've been running for years now and I still have days when I go too hard, too early and blow up. And even guys in the city to surf, a number of them say, the winners will say that, oh, I blew up a bit in this race. So it's, it's a common thing. It's hard not to get excited when you're feeling fresh in the start of your race. But just remember, when you're doing your workouts, try to be conservative as best you can, even when you're feeling good, because I know it's hard, but try to be patient, controlled, and finish off strong. That's it for today. Control your sets, and hit me up if you need any more tips. I'm doing videos all the time now, so talk to you soon.